Uh, Elon Musk is, I feel like, constantly in trouble from the left once they found out that he was an advocate for free speech. And anything he says, they're like, I can't believe he just said that. The latest one is he tweeted out, Soros, George Soros, reminds me of Magneto. Now, I think that's funny. Uh, I particularly like the follow-up. I think the follow-up tweet was very funny. He said, I'd like to apologize for this post. It was really unfair to Magneto. <laughs> but the left yeah. took That's issue cool. with it. Um, particularly, God, the Krasenstein brothers are just, is there anyone more annoying, a duo more annoying on Twitter than Brian and Ed Krasenstein? I don't think so. I would argue that they are most annoying. But uh, Brian Krasenstein responded, fun fact, Magneto's experiences during the Holocaust as a survivor shaped his perspective as well as his depth and empathy. Soros, also a Holocaust survivor, gets attacked nonstop for his good intentions, which some Americans think are bad, merely because they disagree with this political affiliations. Now, I would say, uh, really quickly, I'll read Elon's response in a second. I would say it's kind of weird to call something about the Holocaust a fun fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think that those are like very fun facts or fun times for those people, but that's fine. Uh, Elon responded, you assume they are good intentions. They are not. He wants to erode the very fabric of civilization. Soros hates humanity. Now, show me the lie. I don't see one. And uh, I would guess that you guys have a lot to say about Soros himself. So before I play the clip of Elon defending his position, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this exchange about George Soros. Now, I love this by Elon, and it's little of that, that dry, tongue-in-cheek, odd, borderline, you know, Asperger sense yeah. of humor. Oh, there's no borderline there. <laughs> that is full on. I mean, I straight up just love it. And in the reply, like, I'll double down. Sorry. Yep. Magneto, <laughs> kind of a low blow to you, you know, and, and honestly, because Soros is, is evil incarnate. It, it literally, this man funds everything that is demonically diabolical towards children. His son, worse than him. If you think uh, version one was bad, wait till you get to know version two. Mm. Uh, horrifically terrible with the things he funds and what he does and how he undermines this nation, hates this nation, and Elon says he hates humanity. Well, there's a lot of proof for that. Uh, it's the truth. Um, but what, what he has done in our country, what he has done in Africa, and this is around the world now, guys. This is not just the U.S. Yes, completely corrupted our judicial system. The district attorneys, Dallas included, all of them. He just goes through humanity, but he preys on the weak. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say this guy's the worst of the worst. He preys on, on the weak in Africa, people that can't defend themselves. He funds initiatives to go literally, uh, you know, suck the life out of some territories for his own gain. I, I, I could literally write a book on George Soros. I had a feeling I've you'd have a lot to say. So many. I, I mean, it's at this point, I mean, I think when we first started talking, I think when Glenn first started talking about George Soros, a lot of that was new. Like, a lot of people mm -hmm. didn't know, mm -hmm. like, what he was up to. The guy literally has tried to collapse countries. Yes. Um, as you pointed out with the district attorneys, it's the reason why a lot of our big cities now are just completely unlivable. They're, they're hell holes, hellscapes. Um, they're not safe anymore, all because of what he's doing. And um, it's, just, it's, just, it's a meme at this point. And the, the funny thing is the left and people like homeboy Krasenstein, they, they know this as well. So what they try to do is they try to deflect. Every single time, they try and turn this yes. into a Jew thing. Yeah. You're Every an anti-Semite. Yeah. I know. It's like we're criticizing the man, right. not his race. Right. And again, that is your problem on the left. That's right. how you want to categorize everyone. You want to say that, you know, we're not all equal in the eyes of God. You want to say that, no, we, we're this race, we're this race, we're this race. No, screw that. We're human beings. We don't care about race. Mm -hmm. And we're... We're just trying to criticize policies that probably, what, 90% of the left now think that are all a-okay. Jason, according to these two idiots, okay, show me what Soros has done for the Jews in Israel. What has he done? Show me. Show me how he defends Israel. Show me. Because he doesn't show up. Because the only defender of Israel, he's trying to cripple, which is the United States of America. Because trust me, there's not another nation on earth that will come to the defense of Israel. Not Great Britain. No, they're run by radical Islam at this moment. They got a Muslim mayor that's radical and a Hindu, you know, prime minister. He is crippling America, the friend of Israel. I'd argue this guy doesn't even like his own people. 
mm. right? So they, they want to throw the race card at us at every, every turn as if you should have compassion and then uh, always get the foot in their mouth, like you said. People tried to call Glenn uh, anti-Jew or, you know, against Jews for calling George Soros out. Glenn has literally got, received the Defender of Israel Award yes. from, from Benjamin Netanyahu. From Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, yeah, from BB. I was, yeah, yeah I, I, the ADL nowadays, yeah. like, the, so they, they back this crap too. At this point, you can just take off the A. Uh, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're the worst of the worst right now. Mm -hmm. So I want to play an exchange between Elon and a CNBC reporter because, you know, the CN, it's great. You, you should go to Twitter, find the entire exchange because it's really fascinating to watch this guy. He's like, he's so perplexed that Elon would like tweet things that he believes. He's like, but, but you believe it, but why would you tweet it? It's just fascinating to see him not understand this, but he specifically asked him about, you know, George Soros um, and, but, but why would you say it? But what if, but what if your opinion actually has detrimental effects to your company. What then, Elon? It was fascinating exchange watch. Do your tweets hurt the company? Are there Tesla owners who say, I don't agree with his political position because, and I know it because he shares so much of it. Or are there advertisers on Twitter that Linda Yaccarino will come and say, you gotta stop, man. Or, you know, I can't get these ads because of some of the things you tweet. You know, I'm reminded of, uh, it was a scene in The Princess Bride. Great movie. Great movie. Um, where he confronts the person who killed his father. And he says, Offer me money. Offer me power. I don't care. See, so you just don't care. <laughs> You want to share what you have to say. I love that I'll say what I want to say, and if if if, uh, if the consequence of that is losing money, so be it. Okay. <laughs> the guy has no idea how to respond. Oh, okay. He would be the hardest interview because you notice that he yeah. takes so long to yeah. respond, but he's yeah. thinking through yeah. it. Yeah. But because that guy interviewing him doesn't know a world where he can actually speak his mind. He's not allowed to. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is told what to say well, from the m moment he wakes up until he goes to bed. And sitting in front of a human being that actually has freedom, mm -hmm. that little thing Americans have, freedom of speech, and exercises it, is an abstract thought to this human being. I, I would agree with that, except in the sense that I, and I know this is just semantics, but like he is allowed to. It just would cost him his job. And his and money not, and, and power willing, is too important. Well, exactly. Right. right. Yes. He's yes. just he's choosing the money and yes. the power, and he can't fathom someone like Correct. Elon who wouldn't choose that. Now, I will say he does happen to also be like very comfortably wealthy, so yeah. it's very convenient once you've made all of your billions of dollars to be like, I don't care about money. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, give it all to me then, I guess, because I care about it. One, but one of these days, I will be able to say, offer me money, offer me power. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to be, and yes, you're right. Uh, he's, he's not allowed to without ramifications, right? right? And for that, and they- he's not they, brave enough to Yeah, and not brave enough. But I, I don't know. I'd like to challenge you on that. I never challenged Sarah on okay. this show, and I'm going to challenge Sarah on this now. I disagree with you. Okay. I actually think if the chips are really down, I think you make the right decision. I think you'll walk away from money. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I would. I think you'll walk no, away from would. money. Yeah, no, I- Yeah. I, I was just joking. I no. <laughs> you can't joke like Wait, that hold on, hold in on. this world with your fan. You need hold to know, on. viewer. She, I've on. watched her walk away. How much money are we talking, though? <laughs> Everybody had I don't know. When, he, when, he puffed, <laughs> when Elon Puff puffed a little and said a couple tweets, I mean, Tesla stock dropped quite a bit. Did it? They were very happy. He, he, he seems to not even care about losing billions. Well, what, 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 so what I think about this is interesting is I almost took it as a threat. Because the yeah. biggest thing they hate about Elon now yes, is yes. he's providing yes. this free speech, free speech. platform. Yes. It is a threat. And they yeah. do not want him to continue to advocate for that. Yes. So what do you do for a guy that clearly likes money? Right. Put they it into his head that you yeah. are going to lose a lot of money. And the biggest thing that they're doing right now with Twitter is they're taking ads away. So right. that's why they've been trying to brainstorm things like Twitter Blue right. to bring in more revenue. But how funny, a threat. how funny that he brings up Linda. 
with the controversy around Linda with the World Economic Forum, because he had to throw her name in there. It's like, hey, we know. I mean, remember, your, your own conservative followers are not very happy with you because mm -hmm. she's got ties to the World Economic Forum. And it was a setup. I actually saw a moment there in Elon's eyes where he literally get, he got royally ticked off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was like, it, oh, yeah. he, was, he was really like, oh, you want to come for me? Right. Then let's dance. Right. And I love that. Yeah. I love it. Last word. I know you guys have probably already talked about this, but with her being his CEO, mm -hmm. but I, I'm still like, if it was anybody else besides Elon who has criticized the World Economic Forum that knows the ins and outs of what they do, I would be very worried about it. But I kind of see her appointment now as I need someone that speaks their language mm -hmm. and they can go in and do these business deals and then whether it's a lie or not, ensure these people. But, you know, don't worry. Twitter's fine. You know, Twitter's playing for the right team. They're not going to step out of line. Meanwhile, Twitter's, I mean, meanwhile, Elon's handling maybe it's, all Maybe the, it's time we have some, stuff. some, you know, maybe it's time we have some Trojan horses in their camp. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Um, well, yeah. I know we got to go to break. I just would like to, to, for the record, despite Yaku's disagreement, I would like to renew my call for Elon Musk to just send me all of his money. <laughs> I just wanted to be clear there. If you like that clip, there is plenty more where that came from. Click the link in the description below to subscribe to the News and Why It Matters YouTube channel to watch the full episode.